Before we do anything in marketing, we need to conduct market research. Um, this is necessary to avoid wastage. As it says at the top of this slide, with limited budgets. If we had all the money in the world, we could go off and um, promote our products in every single media available, online, wherever. However, we do have limited budgets and therefore it would be pretty useful to know where our core market audience is in terms of media usage and other information. Excuse me. Um, so it says in this PowerPoint that you will learn about reasons for conducting market research. Hopefully I've just given you a quick one. And some market research methods. Starts off with a question. If you were planning to open a clothes shop in your local area, what information would you want to know before making important decisions? You might want to stop this video now and just give yourself a time to jot a few points down um, before you continue. Okay, here's a table that you, um, you should write down in your exercise books and as we go through this PowerPoint, um, return to it. Um, but on the first column here, you've got a range of research methods and specific research methods. Telephone, face-to-face -face surveys, postal surveys, online surveys, supplier feedback, focus groups, questionnaire, customer feedback, internet research. I reckon that you can um, probably understand what all those research methods entail with, with the exception possibly of a focus group. Um, and we'll go into that later. Okay, methods of market research on a limited budget. There are two types of market research. Firstly, primary market research involves the collection of first-hand data that did not exist before. It is original data. This is the most expensive information a business can buy, but it can also be the most crucial information in order to deliver a point of difference or in order to identify a niche that nobody else has at this point. Uh, this is because this is research that is just for your business. That you are the ones that have, or the business is the one that has ordered this primary market research and they're the only ones that are going to see it. The next type of uh, research is secondary market research is research that has already been undertaken by another organization and therefore already exists. Um, you will be looking at, for instance, uh, when we look at the target market, um, at market segmentation, you'll be looking at Roy Morgan value segments. These um, value segments are available to everybody um, who's willing to pay for them, that is. Um, it's the same with straightforward things like, for instance, television ratings. You sometimes see these quoted in newspapers. Um, now, the more detailed TV ratings that um, advertising agencies use um, can be purchased by any advertising agency if you're prepared to pay the money. Um, so, it's not necessarily going to be a major point of difference if if you've got your competitor that's buying the same information as you. Having said that, there is an art in how you interpret market research, even with secondary research, um, that can be your point of difference. It says there, go back to your table and mark on it each type of primary or secondary. Um, so, you may wish to do that and pause this video. Um, Go back to your table is the one that you should have written in your exercise books. So pause when necessary and, um, and write down primary or secondary. Um, 
reasons for conducting market, market research. It says here that Jasmine is a designer of unique silver and pewter rings for both men and women. Her friends and family love her designs and believe that she could become known as a top designer. Jasmine's mum has offered to help her set up a small shop in their hometown of Bournemouth. Obviously, this is a UK source. Her dad thinks that this is a good idea. However, he's concerned about the number of new shops that open and close shortly afterwards due to lack of demand. He suggests that Jasmine should carry out some market research before opening the shop. So, what is meant by market research? I mean, it's got marks here, but we're not going to mark it. Um, explain two reasons why Jasmine should carry out market research before opening her shop. And three, explain one reason why Jasmine should look at her competitors in the market. So, at this point, again, stop the video, uh, jot your points down and um, we'll come back and have a little discussion on these things um, later on. Methods of market research on a limited budget. Um, the advantages and disadvantages of, or the advantages of primary, it's specific to your needs, it's up to date. It says can be cheap there, I'm not sure about that, unless you are just asking um, people coming into your shop or standing out on the street asking people questions but generally primary research is not cheap secondary research it says is very cheap so they have made a distinction between cheap and very cheap certainly it is cheaper even though it can still be expensive depending on the type of research that you're purchasing if you're purchasing television ratings for example um, even though it is secondary research and open to everybody, um, be prepared to spend, mil uh, spend millions of dollars to have access to all the TV ratings available. Okay, disadvantage with primary. It says lack of expertise. Not sure where it gets that from because it takes um, a great deal of expertise to get primary research. Time consuming, it certainly is time consuming. That is a key point with primary research. Secondary research is ongoing, it's already there, it's always going to be available. Whereas primary research, from the time that you brief a research company um, to, to the time that it takes them to go off and do it, and then to come back and interpret that and report back, that takes time. Um, um, so you're always behind. I suppose the pace of the market in that respect. It's a bit like finance when you're looking at finance reports and they are historical documents. Um, results may be limited. Well, um, that's a risk you have to take with primary research. Uh, disadvantage of secondary is that it can be out of date. Um, well, no more out of date than primary and I dare say it would be a bit more up to date than primary even if it, notwithstanding that it is broader research it can be expensive I've just pointed that out with TV ratings and it's not specific to you so um, it might not answer your specific questions focus groups this was the one area that I said were, was one that you might not have, um, have been familiar with these are groups of co consumers who share their views and opinions in a focused discussion. Um, it's what you would have seen at the beginning when we looked at that Mad Men video. That's a focus group. It provides qualitative data, um, allows for follow-up questions. It gives consumers new products and finds out their views. So by qualitative, um, it means that it's not a black and white numbers that we're punching in and it takes a great deal of skill from researchers, a great deal of experience for them to interpret the qualitative data that they're getting back. That's why it's so expensive because there are very few people capable of doing this. I would say in Australia you could count it on two hands 
uh, the number of people who are really experienced who you could trust to come back with good uh, reports on qualitative data. Um, these are the ones where you often see, as we did with Mad Men, you know, the, the mirror, the two-way mirror, and you can see through it, but the, um, the, the focus group can't see you as the client. Um, it's that sort of scenario. Okay, moving on, market research. Jasmine has decided to take her dad's advice and carry out some market research. She spoke to her dad in more detail and he suggested she used secondary market research due to her limited budget. However, Jasmine is also keen to speak to potential customers to find out their views on her designs, location and pricing. So questions here are, what is meant by secondary research? Explain two benefits to Jasmine of using secondary market research. And three, suggest a suitable market research method for Jasmine. Uh, to find out about consumers' opinions and justify your answer. So again, stop the video here, jot down a few notes, and um, we'll come back and discuss these questions um, live, as it were. There's a five-minute test that you can do. Um, that's up to you. I'm not going to check in on this, but um, if you want to do that, there you go. Off you go. Okay, that's the end of that. Um, thank you very much. Um, like I said, they've got a few questions on that uh, PowerPoint and we'll come back um, later in this lesson or next lesson in order to discuss your responses. Thank you.